Hello everyone. You know what's fascinating about the AI world? Just when you think you have seen it all with ChatGPT and Claude, something comes along the way that makes you pause and think, wait, this is truly different. That's exactly what happened when I first tested DeepSeek R1. But here's the thing. While everyone rushed to compare it to OpenAI GPT models, there is often an overlooked aspect of DeepSeek R1 that makes it stand out. Today, I'm going beyond the usual comparison to show you what makes DeepSeek R1 truly special and why it might be a dark horse in the AI race. Trust me, by the end of this video, you will see AI efficiency in a whole new light. Let's dive in. Before we dive into technical stuff, let me tell you something interesting. DeepSeek was not created by a tech giant like Meta or Google. It was founded in 2023 by Leanne Winfig in China, and they managed to train their model for just $6 million. That's incredibly efficient. Let's look at what makes this possible. See this diagram. While other companies are just throwing more parameters at their models, DeepSeek took a smarter approach with their mixture of expert architecture. They are using something called a dual peak algorithm for overlap computation. And here's what makes it special. Multiple expert networks, 256 specialized neural networks, each expert handles specific type of task and dynamic routing based on input type. That's why they only needed 2,000 NVIDIA chips. Compare that to tens of thousands other companies use. One aspect is usually overlooked is how DeepSeek integrates reinforcement learning into its training process. DeepSeek uses a form of reinforcement learning from human feedback to refine its process, focusing on clarity, accuracy, and safety. This helps the model to evolve by learning from real-world feedback, similar to GPT-4 training pipeline. Let me show you something that happened last week. I was skeptical about the 97.3% mass 500 score. So I tested with this calculus problem. Watch how it breaks down the solution. It is not just giving the answer. It's explaining the thought process like a mass shooter would. Now here's something more impressive. Last month, I was building a sophisticated system for a client. Watch how DeepSeek handles this Redis rate limiter implementation. Not only it implements the rate limiter, but notice how this clever feature, sliding window implementation, Redis pipeline for automatic operation, a proper error handling, pairs limit support, and automatic cleanup with TTL. Now, let's test DeepSeek R1 ability to process large-scale JSON data efficiently. I have generated a dataset with 10,000 transactions, totaling about 1 megabyte of raw JSON data. Each transaction contains a user ID, product ID, purchase amount, and metadata tags. Here's the sample dataset. It has multiple users making transactions, and our goal is to extract key insights such as total spending per user, number of transactions per user, and top three most common tags per user. I am going to ask DeepSeek to generate a Python function that efficiently processes the JSON file. Here's the prompt. Let's see how DeepSeek R1 responds. Okay, that's impressive. The code uses dictionary aggregation for efficient lookups and process all 10,000 transactions in one pass, reducing computation time. It even sorts the most frequent tags for each user. 
Let's execute this function and measure performance if we can compare the processing time. This speed boost makes DeepSeq R1 an efficient choice for large-scale data processing tasks. This was just a basic example, but imagine applying this efficiency to financial analytics, inventory tracking, or AI-driven insights. DeepSeq R1 shows great promise for real-world applications. Next, let's examine the cost efficiency data. As you can see in this visualization, we are comparing the monthly cost between GPT-4 and DeepSeq R1 for processing 50 million tokens. With GPT-4, we are paying $32.5 per million tokens, resulting in a monthly cost of $1,625. After switching to DeepSeq R1, the base cost dropped to just $8 per million tokens, bringing our monthly total to $400. This represents a dramatic 75% reduction in cost, saving $1,225 every month. But how is this possible? The secret lies in DeepSeek's FP8 Mixed Precision Training Architecture. Let me walk you through this code example. DeepSeek uses FP8 Mixed Precision Training, which converts calculation to 8-bit floating point format. This significantly reduces memory usage and computation costs while maintaining accuracy by converting back to 32-bit precision for the final output. This innovative approach is what enables DeepSeek to offer such competitive pricing while maintaining high-quality results. Let me demonstrate two key technical features of DeepSeek. First, let's look at the mixture of expert routing system. DeepSeek uses 256 specialized experts with expert 1 to 8 handling mathematical tasks, 9 to 16 managing logical reasoning, and the rest processing language tasks. Watch what happens when we import different problems. For math problems, expert 1 to 8 activate. For logic puzzles, expert 9 to 16 engage. And for language tasks, the remaining experts handle processing. This specialized routine ensures optimal performance for each type of task. Now let's examine DeepSeek's robust handling. The system uses a three-stage fallback process. Primary processing attempts the task. If that fails, it routes to secondary expert processors. As a final fallback, it switches to safe mode with degraded capabilities. This ensures reliable operation even in edge cases. Now let's be honest at where DeepSeek R1 still needs improvement. First, creative tasks. While excelling at technical tasks, it sometimes struggles with creative writing and content generation. Second, multi turn conversation. The context handling, while good, isn't quite GPT-4 level yet. Third, edge cases. I have noticed occasional inconsistencies in very complex reasoning tasks. But here's why these limitations don't worry me. The architecture is solid, and all these can be improved with fine-tuning and training. The foundation is incredibly strong. So, is DeepSeek R1 the future of AI? Well, it's definitely pushing the boundaries of what's possible with efficient AI training. The combination of its AMI architecture, cost effectiveness, and impressive performance makes it a serious contender in the AI space. And speaking of pushing the boundaries, in my next video, we are going to build something truly exciting. We will combine DeepSeek R1 with Langchain to create an AI agent that can automatically review and optimize code, generate comprehensive tasks, and handle complex debugging tasks. If you want to build that, make sure to hit the subscribe and notification bell. Trust me, you will not want to miss this one. Drop a comment below of what surprised you the most about DeepSeek R1, and let me know what aspects of Langchain integration you are most exciting in seeing. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.